Hello, my name is Dr. James, and this is my micro lesson. It's a new listening and speaking lesson, and we're talking about idiomatic sports expressions, and this is a guided practice. The technology that we're using today is brainstorming and interactive online tools. Hello, everyone. This is a guided practice learning activity. And we are continuing to learn and understand idioms. We will brainstorm about idioms that you have heard about or that you are familiar with. To get you going, I am putting four idioms on the board. There's chip in. Get a head start. Give something or someone a fair shake. And give it your best. Now this is the way we're going to do this. You will pair with a new friend today. Not the same one, but a new friend today. And share your understanding and interpretation about your own idioms or the idioms that are on the board. Today you will use the interactive online tools, Read, Write, Think, and Idioms by Kids. And you'll use your Chromebook. Everyone in the class has a Chromebook. And you will complete the activity on the internet and uh, there are seven uh, uh, activities. You won't be able to print them, but you will get a score, a grade at the end. Let's review the activities. This is the um, link that you can get to and read, write, think, and then the idioms by kids. Okay, now you will use the interactive online tool, read, write, and think. You will use your Chromebook to access the internet. You will Complete the activity, and then you will send your grade or score to me by email. Let's look or review the activity that you will be doing that help you to understand idioms or idiom idiomatic uh, expressions. What do we have here? Yes, we have what? A bed. What's on the bed? Yes, there's a pillow. And it looks like it may be some type of cover, but what? Oh, it has flowers on it. What kind of flowers? Oh, yes, look like roses. Okay, see, I on idioms. There's seven. This one is the first one of seven. Okay, there are instructions for you to do and for the class is to complete the sentence by selecting the correct idiom from the list. The image above provides a literal representation of the correct idiom. This is the image. Okay, let's see what it has to say and how you will complete the sentence. Okay, let's read someone. 
Yes, school would be what? Without tests and homework? Let's click this little arrow here. Now we could, what we can do, we can read through all of the idioms here, but we know that there's a bed and we know that it has roses. So the most likely answer is what? Yes, a bed of roses. Now it asks you what is the metaphorical meaning of the idiom? Okay, this word right here, you can look it up, but more likely, what's the type or what's the figure of the meaning? So it's a, it's, it's a figurative meaning. All right, so what is the meaning of this? So you're going to write this and you want to work through that because we have no other uh, activities that ask you similar things. And then you're going to use the it idiom in a sentence. It must be a complete sentence, not just two words. Okay, and then um, you're not going to print this out because the printer is not connected. But what you're going to do is when you complete the whole exercise and you get a score, then you'll send me your score with your name, uh, email. Everybody has a Chromebook. Everybody has an email address. So I'll be expecting to get your score. Let's look at another online interactive resource that can help you to understand idioms. And then you can make up your own and then you can learn from these done by kids. And it asks the question, what is an idiom? Then you can read a story. Guess what? You can do your own drawings. And then it has all idioms, the ones that are there. And you can learn about idioms with pictures and stories. And this site has over a thousand pictures of idioms. They do not illustrate what the idiom means, but it shows the literal meaning, which is important to you. And guess what? These pictures were drawn by children. And the results are many times funny. You can read about them in stories or see their meaning by clicking on the idiom name. And you can learn what the different idioms mean. Bad times, got guts, fly on the wall, chug it, hat in hand. Raining cats and dogs. You hear people say that a lot of times. Raining cats and dogs. No sweat. A penny for your thoughts. A couch potato. It's very interesting. And, and this is good because you're going to, after you review the sports idiom chart, and, and after you visit this online, interactive tools, you will be writing a paragraph illustrating the uh, idiom's literal meaning when you write about a short paragraph about your own personal experience. Select the idiom to improve your writing. You're going to turn your paragraph in at the end of the class. So I'm suggesting to you to enjoy the brainstorming, enjoy the online activity. And I'm also going to ask you to practice speaking for the four idioms on the board. 
Record them with your mobile device, which could be uh, your Chromebook or your uh, cell phone or your smartphone or your iPhone. And then listen to your speech. Not only listen to it, share your recordings with a classmate. Does anybody have any questions? Have fun, and let's get on with our activity.